Okay, welcome back. I just wanted to showcase the Mesh Smooth feature now in Creality Scan because I, I think it is useful, but it does have some uh, cautionary aspects to look out for in terms of detail. But let's scan a, a no, another one of my kids' toys that they had laying around. Uh, in typical fashion, if you've watched some of my other videos, I like to do a, a couple of revolutions on the turntable and then freehand to try and capture some more detail both uh, above and at a lower angle uh, because I find that usually produces the the best amount of data and minimizes the noise in the data to begin with. So then we'll, we'll go through and we'll take out a lot of the stuff that I don't want to spend the computational power and time on and then we'll optimize the point cloud so that it has the highest resolution and sensitivity. Off on the right, while, while we wait, you can see some of the other projects I'm working on where I'm making my grip system work with the Raptor. And I also have a new lower section that houses a smaller and lighter battery. So hopefully I'll have that on the website soon. I've got a few more tweaks that I'm running through, but that's nice because I've reduced the, the filament, the print time, and I've made it a bit more translucent, which is all kind of fun. But there you can see as we spin it around, uh, again, we'll hopefully have that on the website in the near future, uh, and it works with the other prior generation stuff as well. But now that the point cloud is just about done, we'll get back to that. And as you can see, the, the point cloud looks pretty reasonable, so we can go into the mesh and see if that too will look pretty reasonable. But since the point cloud uh, looks fine, aside from the inside of the wheels, it, it should work out quite well. And just spinning around, it looks like the detail is pretty good. But I think we can improve the noise. So we're going to edit and we'll try the mesh smooth here. Now what we're really looking for is to see if we can take out some of the noise or that orange peel look without reducing the detail. So I've got it on the highest setting, uh, the level 4 if you will. And you can see it did clean up a lot of the noise, and I didn't really notice any uh, detail loss that concerns me. Trying on level one, you can see some of that noise is brought back in because it's not as strong. But again, the, the detail is all about the same. So I find the best value to be level four here on the mesh smooth, uh, again, because it's less noise without any appreciable detail loss. And in typical fashion, I will also simplify the mesh down to about 10% of the original. And again, looking for any appreciable detail loss to see if I need to change the settings after the fact. And it looks good to me, so we'll continue on with there. But what's kind of nice is you can stack the mesh smooth. So now that I've simplified the model, I can smooth again, but you need to be careful. If you notice, the model got a lot smoother, but I also now lost a lot of detail, even if I just tried it on its level one again so if you're looking for a really smooth model that's cool that works but if you're looking to retain the detail uh, just be careful here's another example you can see the holes in the back basically disappear uh, once I, I smooth again so effectively stacking that smoothing so at least you have the option uh, if you want a really smooth model you can do that or if you want the best value you can play around and get those settings as well also in typical fashion, we'll just do a little color mapping here. And you can see the green car comes out okay. Um, just like I've mentioned in the other videos, the, the camera quality, the visible camera quality, isn't really that spectacular, but it works well enough for you to know what you were scanning as a reminder. And it's kind of fun to have a little 3D model. Anyhow, there you go. That is an example of the mesh smooth feature. Uh, again, I think it works pretty well, and it's definitely a nice feature to have on top of the mesh simplification, just so that you can get a better overall model. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you.